welcome to this new series. In this series we're going to be doing reviews on mods that have recently, or some of them not so recently, come up, um, but are maybe a little bit more complex, a little bit different, and we'll just have a look and see how they pan out and what I think about them. We're going to start off with a relatively new mod, all-in-one underground facility by Superfly182. This is the download page from ModHub with all the instructions and quite a long and lengthy description of the of the mod. Most of it is very necessary, uh, some very good tips. Basically it's an underground facility um, that allows you to live in it and look after your vehicles. It also has storage. The initial placement comes with 5,000 litres of diesel and 4,000 litres of water. We'll see that a bit later. And it's priced at 500,000. I would recommend that you read through the description, particularly the tips. Um, most important. One of the most important tips that they do have there is that you should place this on flat ground. So flatten the ground, make sure it's nice and flat and leveled. And the other one is not to place it in free mode. And that's simply because if you do place it in free mode, it's just going to place it on top of the land and not um, allow the excavation that is required to, um, to place the, the mod. The other thing is the mod only rotates in quarters, so north, south, east, west, basically by 90 degrees every time, and places fairly easily. The footprint is not huge, perfectly square. Let's get down and have a look at it now that we've placed it. Right, so it does look pretty sci-fi-ish. This is basically the entrance to the vehicle parking area. Looks very sturdy of course. We do have storage for for all the base game crops. The mod does come with 45,000 litres of water and 5,000 litres worth of diesel and obviously the offload and loading points are pretty well marked. This is just to indicate the water filling point and also the, the as we'll see later the diesel filling point. This is the basic entrance to the complex and this is a, one of the many control panels for moving the lifts up and down. One thing that I will say is that it, initially it looks like the fuel refueling point is facing the wrong way. But um, yeah, it, it's not as bad as I first thought, as you'll see later in the, in the video. Right, let's go and have a look inside quickly. So we do have a control panel down the side there where you can put your hand on and read your palm print and that'll open the, the door. In reality, the door opens as normal, but if you keep your eye down on the left hand side, you'll see that the, uh, the palm area has gone green. All flashing lights and that when you enter in just to remind you to get in quickly before the door automatically closes. Very nice, very thematic as they say in the, in the classics. So this is the entrance way, very industrialized, very doomsday-ish and we've got some light, light controls. Um, that one doesn't seem to do much and this one here does turn on the main lights. 
here we go, lights on, lights off, we'll leave lights on for now, and at the end of the this walkway is the elevator, or the lift, whichever, whichever one you want to call it, <laughs> uh, and that act activates just as normal by pressing the B. The controls you're about to see in the top left hand corner there. And that brings us into the living room. It's a bit of a static control panel. The images don't change on the on the TVs but that's not really an issue. Just uh, it's just there for for effect really. Got a bit of uh, Space Invaders to play, I suppose you can call it. A seriously big piece of French bread. And then a really scary looking cat. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we do have a uh, wardrobe. We can get changed. And we do have a sleep trigger as well, which is on the couch. And you have to actually get onto the couch to activate that. So the the mod of this um, of this mod is the same one that done the did was well, has who did should I say <laughs> the uh, gems pack, which we'll have a look at it sometime. Right, and this is the second floor, of course, as you can see by all the twos around. And this is where a vehicle would park. Just watch out for the gap. Mind the gap, as they say. And control panels for the lights. So you can switch the lights on in the in the parking bays. Lights on. It switches lights for both floors, first and second floor. down the stairs we can go down into the first floor and just as we come through here we'll see the workshop panel or the workshop icon so it is a vehicle workshop on both floors this is the control panel to move the lifts up and down once again the light panel and you can switch the lights on and off here as well. So this is bay one. Yeah, did have a look to see if you could get up there, but there's no easy way to get up there. Bring a ladder and a bit of debris on the ground. Can be moved, it's not a problem. Still trying to get up there to see if there's anything I can see up there, but I can't. Right, and this is the other control panel for the main central lights. Switch it on. Yeah, all looks very nice. Very sci fi ish or doomsday ish. And if you watch till the end of the video, I will give you an indication of where I think this mod is best suited to be used. Switch the lights off there. We'll hop on the lift stroke elevator and <laughs> we'll head up to the top. Right, we'll get outside and we'll go and see how those, those lifts work to the different service bays for the vehicles. Once again, nice little sound effect to uh, to warn us that the doors are opening and closing. So I've chosen some really big vehicles just to see how the mod handles those. So we've got the doors closed. So first of all, we'll have to summon the the bay elevators. This is where we do them, so you can summon bay 1 
or bay two you, if you are working on bay one you actually have to well, how would you, I would want to say it, you have to take the elevator all the way down and then reorder it or reselect it to get to bay two so as you can see there bay two is already gone above us we've decided to do bay one first quite easy to drive in and then we just pop across there as you see now I can't summon the second bay down to load another vehicle so we have to take this vehicle down first then bring the whole lot back up here to be able to load a second vehicle in not too much of a problem but must probably to do with all the scripts and that type of stuff right so let's get it going down now that's the first problem that I do have with the mod is that the vehicle does need to hit the roof basically to start going down so it doesn't go down with the actual elevator um, there should be I would think a way for that to be done if we can do it for the players I don't know but it's it's not a big issue um, there are um, is an invisible ceiling on the on the top floor so that it does not jam up the vehicles and the vehicles are do come down and um, sit firmly on the floor when they are in the and they're in the well in the bunker basically is what you would call it it really is just a bunker right, so we'll get a nice harvester as you notice there we brought the elevator back up to the second floor load the harvester on and here you will see the invisible floor above the harvester just to nudge it down as it goes down into the into the bunker this will give you a good idea as you can see it kind of suspends itself hits the invisible barrier and then comes down then you have to wait for it again I probably say I would most probably think that's got to do with the limitation on the scripts that that can be utilized but yeah a slight flaw not too much of a problem there. right let's get back into the complex and we'll go and see what it looks like with the vehicles down in their bays Down on the second floor or the second service bay. You can see the harvester there. We'll just go all the way down to the bottom and we'll have a look at our, our workshop panel. And open workshop, and we can see both vehicles. We can see the the case and the Lexon and yeah do you really want to repair the vehicle so we 25,000 we can do the repair what I have noticed you can't do any painting so you can't do the paint as if you look at the bottom of the of the view oh, well if you of the of the workshop page there's nothing there to paint to paint the vehicles but you can from the same you can move between the two vehicles on different floors and repair them both without having to go up to the second floor or well there's no place to to access the workshop on the second floor so you repairs are all done from the first floor and that's that all done once again not able to paint which I suppose you wouldn't want to do in the bunker you can imagine the fumes paint fumes 
Right, let's get these sent back up so we can send the elevator back up from each floor, from the first floor or the second floor. Same problem, you can only do, you can only control one floor at a time or allow, the, the whole thing does move up, but um, you can only instruct it to, to surface at one floor to allow embarkation or disembarkation. Right, back up onto the elevator, hit B. I am playing, doing this on PC, but I do play with a Xbox console, uh, Xbox, not console, Xbox uh, controller. <laughs> um, so that's why we're still using the Xbox B's and A's and Y's, etc. Right, very easy to offload it, there it is. And we should have our harvester sitting on the platform. So it would be nice if you could just go back there and just drop it down one floor so that you could offload the, the um, harvester at the same time. But unfortunately it doesn't do that way as you can see you can only control we're busy controlling floor one so you can only control floor one so you have to take it all the way down wait for the doors to close as you can see we left one now we should be able to, there we go, now we can control garage lift 2 and that should bring us up to a situation where we can take out our harvester. Yeah, so it's a very novel and very good mod overall a couple of minor flaws or a couple of minor they're not actually flaws they're just a couple of minor issues that affect me they may not worry others as much right let's just have a look and see what we can offload so obviously this is offload and load point trigger point so just offload as per normal And then you will have the ability to load the crops back in at the same point. It does take all the base crops. We'll just scroll through them quickly, give you ideas. So all the base crops are there that can be loaded up. 600,000 litre capacity, which is cumulative. So. It's not 600,000 of each crop. And then we have the other load point where you can load water and you can refuel at this area as well. So we've just refueled the tractor there, so that's quite fine. But as I mentioned earlier, it did appear to me that the the fuel bowser was pointing the wrong way but you can actually refuel at the correct point although it's not marked as you can see there we've just refueled the dates far so that's great absolutely fantastic prefer that for for a little bit of realism get in the right place with the pipes out to refuel and if we get in there we can fill the tank up with water as I have mentioned before when placing it you do get 45,000 liters of water and the water is replenished via the
via the gates or via the grid yeah so we put water back in there I'm presuming I didn't test it but I'm presuming that diesel will also be placed replenished through the same system well that's the mod in a nutshell what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to flick over to where I think this mod would fit in absolutely perfectly and this is where I would use it just waiting for it to empty out and I would have it on Mars <laughs> so this is uh, Mars the mission map by Farmer Bob this is where I would use it it just fits in perfectly here fabulous fabulous well that's the map all in one underground house basically you do exit exit it through farmhouses that's where we're going to end this video thank you so much for watching hope you do have found this informative if you have please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one cheerio